and uh, welcome to uh, a chilly morning in Cavedale in the Peak District and uh, on the way up uh, we had bright sunshine and I thought I don't want bright sunshine today I want conditions just like they are here very flat light uh, then we drove into some mist and fog and I thought well yeah okay if we get that but uh, we have got some mist down uh, in the valley there in the Hope Valley and I've took uh, a shot uh, with some mist in. Not sure how it's going to come out, but I'll let you see it now. So, Cavedale, what an amazing little limestone gem that lives right next door to the village of Castleton. And uh, me and Helen came here in 2019, uh, we went round Castleton, had a bite to eat, look in the shops, as you do, and uh, then did a bit of an exploration of Castleton, had a walk around, and we come to the corner, one corner of Castleton, and saw a sign that said Cavedale. And I thought, okay, that sounds interesting. And, uh, ooh, how far is it, said Helen, just, she don't like long walks. And, um, I thought, oh, might not be far. And it was literally, you literally walk from the village of Castleton through a short path and you come into this little gem. And what a little limestone gem it is. And the reason for coming here today, the inspiration for coming here today, I was looking, uh, reorganising my hard drives over Christmas uh, and I was looking at images. And I looked back at some images that we took here. Uh, and I think it was 2019. And I looked back at these images and I thought, hmm, I wonder, it started to make me think. Here's the first one. So the first image is this cave. Uh, it's a very small cave. And as you can see in the image, uh, there were sheep in it. Well, there's one sheep in it. It must be the sheep phone box, uh, maybe. I don't know. There, was, there seemed to be queuing. No, there was actually sheltering. It was uh, the height of summer and uh, it was a baking hot day and the sheep were literally in the shade and uh, obviously the, the the head sheep the boss was uh, right inside that cave in the coolest part so what i thought was looking at that little cave could i get a shot from inside and use the outside of the cave as the frame of the composition and then get a view out into cave dale maybe with the castle in the shot. So we'll uh, go and find this cave and see if we can execute this composition that's in my head. And here it is and uh, it doesn't appear to have changed very much. Uh, maybe a few rocks uh, have fallen down, maybe. Yeah there's quite a few loose rocks underneath and so to get this shot I'm gonna have to overcome a few technical issues and one is getting the camera in here and seeing the composition and these things things falling down as i'm sitting here um, i won't be able to see the composition on the back of the camera screen so i'm gonna have to do uh, a very experimental shot to get this so i'm going to place the camera inside i'm going to set the 10 second timer to give me a chance to get out of the way what I'm going to do first, I'm going to set the focus point on the screen to the left-hand side in the hope that it focuses on the left-hand side of the cave wall and take the shot. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the centre button on the back of the camera and by pressing the centre button that sends the focus point to the middle of the screen and the second shot then should focus on the, uh, the limestone rocks on the opposite side and fortunately, above us is the castle. It's probably not a great shot of the castle, but we'll see. So that's the complexities of, of taking this shot. So uh, let's execute it and see, uh, and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the camera uh, set up inside the little cave and uh, on the tripod, and I'm gonna take the first test shot. Well, that was very technically challenging. I've uh, done a number of shots. It's not quite 
come out as I wanted it to. It's not got the whole arch of the sort of cave entrance in, but I think I've got a shot. So a cave large enough to hold a person, and I could get in there, and I had to keep going in there to uh, change the settings and adjust the camera up and down until I got the composition I was looking for. And while I was doing this, we had a bit of an audience. We had people keep coming up uh, to the cave thinking I'd found something. What's he found? What's he doing? What's this uh, nutter going in and, in and out this little cave? And uh, bless them, once they saw that the camera was pointing out to them and I explained what I was doing, they, uh, they kind of moved on. Uh, after asking me how to get up to the castle, uh, which I replied that, uh, go back round there and you follow the sign that says castle, you'll get there. But uh, yeah, so on top of the technical challenges for this, there was a few touristy uh, people uh, challenges, bless them. So I did get a shot, and here is the final shot. And uh, when I was planning to do this, I decided to try and take two shots, as I explained in the video. But I didn't need to do that because the 14-24 to lens at f11 was giving me the inner walls of the cave in focus and also giving me the castle behind also in focus as well. So it is a crop, this final image, but I think this really works uh, in black and white for me. Uh, and I just love the way the trees are kind of bending in, um, which forces your eyes towards the castle. And I like the textures on that uh, cave wall and the light on the wall as well. If we'd have had a little bit of light on the ca castle opposite, I think this would have been uh, would have been better as a colour shot. But uh, on the whole, I was happy with this. And after doing this, we then went for a little skate on that uh, path and went to find another composition. You'll have seen in the uh, drone footage that the path is covered in a sheet of ice. And as we just found, it's not easy getting across it. It's very slippy. And uh, so I've got a composition here where I'm using the uh, icy path coming into the scene from the right hand side, meandering off into the distance. I've got the castle in the upper left of the shot and then I've got a tree kind of in the up in the right hand side there. I'm using my 14 to 24 mil lens. Um, the light's not great, it's gone quite dull. The sun, if it came out, would come from the right hand side of the image and it would light up the castle uh, quite nicely. I don't think it's going to do that, so uh, this could be a black and white shot. In fact, what I'll do, I'll put the colour and the black and white version up of uh, this shot. Now I'm going to bracket this shot, I'm going to take three shots. The, uh, the light is fairly even, but I'm just going to do uh, three shots, just one exposure under, one over, and then one which will be at f11, 1 20th of a second uh, ISO 64. I'm going to take this shot. There is somebody uh, that sat down further down. I don't think you'll see them in the shot, so we can clone them out if we need to. But uh, yeah, with the right light, this, uh, this would make a very, very nice shot but it's nice as it is and i think we'll, we'll take a variation of it as well so if i take some variation shots here are those
Well, we then walked up uh, further up into Cave Dale, uh, again going across the uh, the icy path. And uh, at one point, Helen said, uh, "Nope, it's just too uh, treacherous this," and uh, we decided to turn round and uh, go back down uh, into Cave Dale. Uh, and it was, uh, there was, the ice was getting really thick and as you can see here, uh, my god, that, going over that was, uh, yeah, it wasn't possible. So uh, I agreed, health and safety check, and uh, we made his way back down to another composition. Well, I've lined up this composition now and um, I'm not sure it's going to work actually, it looks really untidy in the foreground. It is. What's drew my attention to it? It's nice green and, and mossy, and it, it contrasts the greys and the uh, the dullness of the rocks. But um, we'll give it a shot. I'll pull it up whether it comes out or not. And there's a lot more people around now as well. Okay, I'm using this uh, as foreground now. I thought this stood out a little, which is a giant patch of solid ice. And uh, in the composition, it does dominate the foreground. And then we lead off uh, up to the castle. And we've just had a patch of uh, blue sky as well. So uh, let's see if this is any better for uh, foreground composition. I think it's as good as I'm going to get, and I'm still bracketing my shots. Mm. Let's see what it looks like when it comes up. I'm not convinced. So one of my plans uh, whilst visiting Cavedale was to get uh, to climb up and uh, get some views looking down and looking around us and uh, once we looked at climbing up we realised that uh, ice was also present on the slopes. The sheep were doing alright, they were getting up there but there was no way we was going to uh, get up safely carrying all this equipment. So uh, what I did, um, I put the drone uh, back up after doing the video footage and uh, got some still shots with a drone uh, and we'll end on uh, a quick uh, slideshow of those drone shots. So um, thank you for watching this video. If you uh, enjoy this type of content consider subscribing to the channel to help me grow the channel. If you like the video give it a like, share the video with people that might also like it and uh, pop a comment in the bottom. And uh, if you go to Cave Dale, see if you can give that uh, shot from inside the cave. Have a go at it yourself. If you've got a, a flippy round screen, you'll, uh, you'll certainly find it easier than I did. And uh, the next video, I'm going into the Peak District to do a model shoot. Now it's not a model shoot with scantily clad ladies, uh, oh no, uh, it's something a bit different, but it is a model shoot, so uh, all will be revealed. Uh, I've got to go and film it yet, just waiting for the weather as usual. So I'll see you later. <laughs>